Cheshpan Baddu remake didn't quite didn't quite work. I mean, I didn't see the film. I don't die in this movie. <laughs> Please come see it. I'm alive from the whole thing. I'm a bit furious because uh, I think Maybe it's beyond this film, but one thing uh, I would do my feminist bit now, like saying that for me, what is uh, what is important is for women to have uh, confidence. Yeah, I'm so happy I stay alive. I'm like I survive. <laughs> so yeah, that's um, please come watch it to see me alive and thriving. Yeah. <laughs> Am I allowed to say that? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> it's not a spoiler. It's not a spoiler. हेलो दिस इज नव एन यूर वॉचिंग इंडिया न्यूज एंड न्यूज एक्स फिल्म इंडस्ट्री में आए दिन कई सारी फिल्में रिलीज होती हैं और स्टार कास्ट और डायरेक्टर का प्रोडक्शन हाउस का एक ही मोटिव होता है कि फिल्म ऑडियंस और क्रिटिक्स दोनों को बहुत ही ज्यादा पसंद आए आज इसी एम के साथ हमारे साथ मौजूद हैं मदर टेरेसा एंड मी की पूरी स्टार कास्ट एंड ऑफकोर्स डायरेक्टर सो स्टार्टिंग ऑफ वी विल दिस डू दिस इंटरव्यू इन हिंदी एंड इंग्लिश वो क्योंकि हमारी मोस्टली ऑडियंस हिंदी भी है और जो इंग्लिश पसंद करते हैं उनके लिए भी कुछ ना कुछ है So let's start off with the director. We saw the trailer and it was it looks really nice. It looks really promising. Or we can see ki the movie is all about the three women, three strong independent women. Is there anything else you want to add for our viewers? Yeah, I think it would be a very human and moving experience and if you are looking for a quality substance and uh, a film with uh, talking about what it is to really have the difficulty to love in general and love in particular i think uh, you would be attracted to to find out how it is both difficult and how it is essential moving on to banita you look fabulous today thank you sir you <laughs> thank you so we saw you in bollywood while you made your debut with october since then you have made a huge fan base for yourself last day while i was scrolling through your instagram i came across a comment from one of your fans that he was hoping for you to not die in this movie <laughs> so is there anything you would like to tell our audience and of course that particular fan of yours about your character i don't die in this movie <laughs> please come see it i'm alive throughout the whole thing yeah <laughs> yeah I'm so happy I stay alive. I'm like I survive. <laughs> so yeah, that's um please come watch it. You'll see me alive and thriving. Yeah. <laughs> Am I allowed to say that? Yeah, okay. <laughs> it's not a spoiler. It's not a spoiler. <laughs> exactly, you saw the trailer and personally, you look really empowering. Like I had goosebumps seeing you in the trailer. Like even while I'm talking to you right now, I have my goosebumps all over my body talking about your character. Thank you so my so question much. to you is keep portraying a character portraying someone a person who already has so many admirers and believers how much difficult for you it was to let that role do justice to the person well i have to admit it um, needed some courage and there are lots of very famous actors and actresses who would never um you know touch um the work for a well known personality but for me it's just so enriching to take this um this challenge and to to try to really get into all these energies and different angles of the character and it was a wonderful journey um and wonderful work with Kamal as a, a director for me it was very fulfilling to be able to try to really um express the human being and the woman behind the saint with her vulnerability with all these doubts and to inspire people to really stay and stuck with their vision and um it it's just uh such a compelling and and emotional uh film and i'm really very happy to be to be in it that was such a wonderful answer Pretty ma'am, you are the legend. You are the OG of Bollywood cinema, as I see. We have been seeing you in most of the movie, and my personal favorite is Chashme Baddoo. They tried doing the remake, but the you know the energy, the aura which you carried with you was amazing. So can you please tell a little about your character while talking about the remake trends in Bollywood? Chashme Baddoo remake didn't quite work. Didn't quite work. I mean, no. I didn't see the film. Yes. um i intended to but then um, there was there wasn't much buzz about it so i just no not about the film like the remake trend in bollywood right now remake 
training. We are all dreamers. Have always been around. Mm. You know, they've, they've always, they've always had, we always had building. I mean, I'm not. I, I don't think you can, uh, you can kind of uh, bring back the, uh, you know, the magic of the yes. original. As I said, the yeah. aura you guys had. Yes, yes. Yes. Um, uh, one good example is Detox. Yes. Um, it was completely different interpretation. So it has it had all the magic that was like by this and version of Devdas. And the original was so enigmatic, the original, hmm. Emma Rose. And then comes uh, Sanjay Devdas. It was totally different. But if you try to make the same thing again, hmm. that never happens. Hmm. That somehow totally amazing. Very few of them work in collect in matter of the box office, but when you talk to the fans, they are not very pleased. Yeah. They are never yeah. pleased yeah. actually. Yeah. They are only happy with the original ones. Yeah. And ma'am, a little about your character. In the film? Yes. I played this woman called Dipani. Okay. She's uh, she's uh, kind of the motherly presence in Kavita's Kavita's uh, life, and she's her moral support and yeah. Is she's also um, having known Kavita since Kavita's birth. So there's a, there's a lot of uh, affection that, you know, that she has for Kavita and uh, having worked closely with her mother to herself. So then it's a, a simple character, uh, and yet I found uh, uh, moments to play which were, uh, which were endearing uh, for me. I uh, I wasn't so sure. I thought I kept telling Kamal that what am I going to do in the film? There's nothing really for me to do. You know why am I here? But, but uh, as we got into the scenes, it kind of fell in. You know, it was it worked out well. It worked out. Well. I I'm happy and to I'm, be part of uh, this in this film. And so will your friends, your fans be when they see you on the screen <laughs> with these beautiful ladies. <laughs> So, sir, coming back to you, what hit you to make a movie on Mother Teresa, connecting it with today time, the present times? Uh, I think um, the idea to have two uh, narrative came because um, it was easier for me to approach uh, Mother Teresa. It was easier for me to understand what she was going through. She was going through a, a loss of face that has been uh, documented, that uh, there is a book with all the letters she published where she says how she lost face and lost face for most of her life, how she made believe to people around her that she was still uh, you know, faithful. At the same time, she had a vocation that was to help the poor, so she never derogated to this, uh, to this vocation. So she continued her, her work. And for me, it was very interesting as a character, but it was a sort of character I found a, a difficult, you know, like uh, like uh, uh, something a bit dry about this uh, this life. That, and I thought like having another story and, an, and, and a story of today, which help us to understand why it is meaningful today to understand and be inspired by the story of uh, of Teresa and how uh, the story of Teresa is not the one you think and you discover in this film that it's a completely different. Uh, idea that most people carry and I think it is relevant today to, to be inspired by it because it may uh, help you uh, for your own change but also you do a little action with it uh, which may transform not only you but transform a person next to you and transform the world so I think that's that's a little bit how the two stories get together you know having a, to understand something that was a bit problematic but inspiring and today that makes uh, makes sense, you know, if you look at it. Exactly. We saw you play Mother Teresa in the trailer, of course. Is there any particular character you want to play in the near future or any genre, any particular genre of movie or web series you want to do? Well, I'm very open, honestly. Um, if I get a wonderful script, um, and if I can identify and if I see that it's a challenge that I can, you know, go forward, and that I can transmit a message or a, a vision, then um, I feel very uh, passionate about it. Panata, coming back to you. You have made your Tollywood debut, you have worked in Hollywood as well. 
So when are we going to see you in the next typical Bollywood movie for your Hindi Hindi bent fans has been wanting to see you? Um, I'm not sure if I'm coming in a typical Bollywood movie, <laughs> but I'm definitely I have a Hindi movie that's coming. Um, I just oh no, think about it. But uh, so my uh, I guess Bollywood fans, there is a Hindi movie coming out for this year. Okay, no, I won't be talking much about yeah. that. <laughs> my producer will tell me. Deepthi, ma'am. Your for your fans, your favorite for them, your uh, best on-screen pair has been with Farooq sir, and you have guys have been my personal favorite too. Apke according, who do you like? Who do you love sharing your you know screen space with? Your best uh, you know on-screen fans, like on-screen pair or something. I I wanted always to be close to the experience. Okay, yes. Yeah. I would have been very really happy now. As in, I feel if I had. Like we saw you with him in last time, and till Zindagi na milegi dobara. But you guys didn't share the screen space together. If I'm not wrong. Yes, yes, yes. He was in Europe, and uh, you were in India. <laughs> But I really enjoyed him. I learned a lot from him. He's one of my earliest lessons in acting. You know, when I when I came here. And, I was doing a small bit part in his journey. Hmm. I used to watch all these actors very, very carefully, and very keenly, keenly observe how because I'm not trained. I've never had any kind of training in acting, so that was my training in craft to be on the sets of the journey. And I used to watch Nasir very keenly and learn from him how he prepares for for a scene. You know how hmm. he, he works towards it. He's He would call himself a method actor, and I was trying to understand what is something you know. So it was. I mean, I would have loved to be. Being a Bollywood fan, like to all the directors, producers, if you want to make a movie, cast her in a series, so it would be a hit for sure. <laughs> in today's you. time, I give it to you. It will be a hit for sure. <laughs> so my next question is to the four of you all together. Anyone can start. Is there anything you want to say to women in today time that what could they learn from Mother Teresa? Anything you want them to learn or adapt from her character or her as a person? I feel um, see today, today's generation, mm -hmm. generation is very me oriented, mm -hmm. self centered, self obsessed, which is good and bad at the same time. Uh, and in such a time when when I'm not going to the movies, it kind of puts you back to those old values when you were taught to to do, to help, to to empathize with people for the time. So it just brings all that resource and that whole you know, uh, uh, values. Hmm. So I think in today's time, this could be really relevant for uh, because the strength that you have to have, and it gives you the strength that gives you in helping others, in in looking after people who are deprived and who who need help. I think that also is some kind of strength in how. I think also, I agree with the teachers, and I think it's not advice for women; it's for everyone, everyone, and especially my generation. And the Gen Z, the Gen Zs, yeah. and growing up on her point, you know, we have this selfie culture, and mm. everything's on the internet. And I don't think it's our generation's fault for the way that we are, because I think any generation who grew up with phones and social media, mm. it is natural to have a tendency towards that. But I do think a consequence of that is we are constantly comparing ourselves to other people online, and as a detriment, we never can really accept or love ourselves because we're seeing way better versions constantly. The first thing you see when you wake up is someone dressed and ready, looking amazing, and you're like, you don't feel like that. You feel like rubbish. And I think one thing from Mother Teresa is that I think is so important is learning to love yourself. So that you can give love to others, and I think my generation hasn't really learned to love themselves. And I don't think that's our fault. I think if you're constantly being pit up against millions of people online, that's what it's I had. Very difficult to love yourself. Comparison is the thief of joy. So I think that's one message I would give. I only wanted to add something before I ask you. 
you know these influencers the beauty influencers just that thing these beauty influencers na they try to influence people but i have seen my friends and you know guys who are younger than me they get that sense of insecurity looking at them yeah it's um it's honestly really sad because i think for a generation of so much potential with mm. so much to offer and that's not even to do with looks you know you see someone getting a lift in a certain college that's better mm. than yours you see someone who's doing a million things but behind the surface we're not actually showing our vulnerabilities what we're going through on an everyday basis so we're having a very perfect image of someone that doesn't even exist we're comparing ourselves to something that doesn't even exist it's not real it's not grounded and i think um It's quite sad, and I would love to speak up about it a lot more. Yeah, <laughs> totally feel you. Exactly, ma'am. Would you like to add something? On it? Well, I totally agree on both of you, and I would like to add that um, I would like to inspire um, people around the world, not only women, um, you know, to learn from Mother Teresa that she just had this focus and this vision, and she went with this vision. um even in 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 total doubts and uh in in difficult times and i think that today we give up very easily and it's um important that we try to really stay with our visions and our world with all these conflicts and wars we just need people with visions and we need people who stuck with it and who believe in it and who go for it and have an inner fire and mother teresa definitely had that in her fire so that's what you did with this movie also <laughs> thank you thank you the director himself would you like yeah to well i mean uh, <laughs> i would say i'm i'm maybe i'm a bit furious because uh, i think maybe it's beyond this film but one thing uh, i would be a little bit now like saying that for me what is uh, what is important is for women to have uh, confidence You know, because I have, I've been with so many friends, women who were so good and they don't do it because they are afraid to do it, they're afraid of the judgment of other men, people around them. The whole society sometimes is pushing them down, and, and for for me, I wish there was more confidence. So that goes with what you say and what you say, and and also I'm very very touched with what you say about you know the time for giving, which has been forgotten, mm-hmm. and, and the selfishness, selfishness, selfishness. Oh my god. Self-indulgence, self-obsession. Yes, something like that. Too. <laughs> and and uh, so so for me it is uh, it is so uh, you know I mean if there is also an influence in that it is to to, to say you know like uh, the, the world is a better place when women uh, are taking some decisions you know uh, I think in our film we had all the HOV all female You know, all the boys were working for for women and i think it gives a very intelligent and very sensitive uh, atmosphere not that it should be like this for everything of course not but it is uh, it, in india you know it's rare and uh, and for me i'm, I'm so uh, you know curious that you know there is not this capacity for being more confident when you are a young girl or or an older girl you know or a woman Everyone could be. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> so everyone. <laughs> so if you guys don't mind, I have a one-minute segment. It's a fun. It's not too too dire or anything. It's just that it's from question from the set. Basic question. Okay. If you don't mind, anyone could answer. It's for all. You just have to name the person who does who you know does that thing on the set or used to do this particular thing. Okay. First question was, who was always late on set? Come on. Anyone. You have to just name who's late on the set. Who, who comes late, late on the set? Oh, late, oh, lead. Oh. I understood. Lead, the lead. No, no. no, no. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> who was late? I was in Swiss time. <laughs> so I'll take the blame. <laughs> on set, on set, you know, we, we have no uh, problem of being late. Yeah, no. no. It's not okay. a set where you had like the hero <laughs> arriving <laughs> for after lunch coming up at the bar. Oh, I haven't had my lunch. Yet. You know, it wasn't that. Oh, it was traffic. Blame it on the traffic. Mm, we were stopping early oh, and I... we were working hard. But I remember the ducks were late. 
ducks. The ducks, the ducks came oh, yeah. late. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so who was always hungry on the set in between the shots? <laughs> I was kind this of hoping. Why, I was kind of <laughs> this is my I was kind of hoping for you, for them to say you. Oh, the prank player. The prank. Player. I think come on. Yeah, perhaps. Yeah. Perhaps. You take oh, it on yeah, you. Yeah, I like stupid jokes. Yeah. So do I. High five. <laughs> Who laughs most? You can bit- laugh with, with about everything, but not this guy. Who laughs most in between the shots? Like you see this shot going on and laugh the most. Who couldn't Who? control their happiness? I'm oh, sorry, I wasn't listening. What did you say? Who laughs oh, the yes. most in between a shot on a serious shot? Who laughs the most? Yeah, laughs, like suppose laughs. you're in between laughs. a shot. Oh, laughs. Ah, uh-huh. yes, laugh. Me, it's me. <laughs> <laughs> No, actually, actually, we had for that. I mean, we had, we had a good relationship. But it was very playful. That's yeah. True. <laughs> and last question: Since you guys are in Delhi, have you tried any of the Delhi ka authentic food? Yes. 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 Yes.